Dear Chairman, dear colleagues, my name is Laura Roten. I work at Inselspital in Bern. Today, I present you the results of the prospective Starfib cohort study, which is part of the bigger Starfib study program funded by the Swiss National Foundation. The aim of the Starfib cohort study is to determine the age and sex specific and overall prevalence of silent atrial fibrillation in a hospital based population aged between 65 and 85 years. From January 2015 to June 2019, we assessed over 11,000 patients hospitalized at Inselspital for study eligibility. No natural fibrillation was the main exclusion criterion and was present in over 2,500 patients. On study recruitment days, we kept track of all patient admissions, including sex, age, and prevalence of no natural fibrillation. Therefore, we can reliably estimate the prevalence of known atrial fibrillation in the source population of estimated 26,035 hospital admissions between January 2015 and June 2019. As is shown in this graph, the estimated overall prevalence of known atrial fibrillation was 22%, 24% for males and 20% for females in the source population. There was a linear trend for increase in the prevalence of atrial fibrillation with increasing age overall and in both sexes. For the prospective cohort study, we intended to include 100 males and 100 females in each of four age bands corresponding to a total of 800 patients. For females aged over 80 years, we were unable to reach the necessary target number during the recruitment period. In total, we included 795 patients. The primary endpoint of the study was a diagnosis of atrial fibrillation within a screening window of four months, including three seven-day holter ECGs. In total, we performed over 2,000 seven-day holter ECGs with a median cumulative holter ECG time per patient of 500 hours. We diagnosed 38 new cases of silent atrial fibrillation, 29 by Holter ECG and 9 by other means. With the first 7-day Holter ECG, we found 15 new cases of atrial fibrillation, 5 with the second and 9 with the third 7-day Holter ECG. Overall, the prevalence of silent atrial fibrillation was 4.8%, 5.7% in men and 3.8% in women. The prevalence of silent atrial fibrillation appeared to increase with age in men, but remained steady in women. In conclusion, the prevalence of both overt and silent atrial fibrillation was 22% and 5% respectively, and was higher, higher in men compared to women. At least one in five patients with atrial fibrillation is missed if silent atrial fibrillation is not screened for in a hospitalized patient population aged over 65 years. Thank you very much.